What is up guys, Tony here, Positive Tech Reviews. And this is gonna be a little different video. This is gonna be me showing you how to unlock the Moto E from Metro PCS. This one is a uh, 16 gigabyte variant. It also has, let me take this out. It has uh, two gigs of RAM internally. So this one is the one from Metro PCS, like I mentioned. And this is the one that I would recommend over the Verizon uh, one because the Verizon uh, Moto E, even though it does have the fingerprint reader, uh, it does have a locked bootloader. So you can unlock the bootloader and you pretty much, you're stuck with Verizon. You won't be able to use it on different carriers like uh, T-Mobile, uh, any other carrier, you're pretty much locked to Verizon. So uh, if you do get it to, if you do get it unlocked on Verizon, the Verizon version, um, you will only get data. I don't think you'll be able to make calls. So that's the bad part about the uh, Moto E from Verizon. I won't recommend that one. Um, I recommend if you're on a budget and you want to pick up a you know a nice cheap device, go with the one from Metro PCS. Uh, you won't regret it. Battery life is amazing. Cameras are real good. Uh, cool part is you can unlock it. Uh, you can flash custom ROMs. You can remove the modal bloat you can do a whole bunch of things you can install custom kernels there's just a whole bunch you can do once you root it and unlock the bootloader so in this video I'm going to show you how to do that so I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader and then I'm going to show you on a, on a later video depending on my response to this video I will show you how to install a custom recovery and how to root so yeah let's go ahead and get started with this one here this one's basically going to show you how to unlock the bootloader. A um, few things you're going to need uh, if, if you're if you if you don't know anything about ADB or anything like that, you're going to need a few things. So first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Motorola website. Uh, just go to your Google browser and type in "unlock Motorola bootloader." And the first one should be the original, the one from Motorola. We'll make that the second one. So unlocking the bootloader, Motorola, you can see this is it right here. Click on that. It's gonna take you to this website. And in here it's gonna tell you, it's gonna talk about unlocking the bootloader, uh, your requirements and uh, things of that nature. You're gonna need a few more things, but it is easy, you, you can do it. So here is unlock your bootloader, step Two. So step one, let's go back to step one. Uh, these are the risks, um, but you're gonna need to prepare your device. So you're gonna have to go enable your developer option. So you wanna go to, and then you wanna go, to, you wanna go to your settings. Come on. Scroll all the way down till you get to about phone. Tap on about phone, and you wanna tap on the build number several times until you see it. Uh, this uh, pop-up, it'll say you are not a developer, and you go back, and you, you'll see this right here. I already enabled mine. Uh, so developer options on, and you want to make sure you click or enable OEM unlocking and USB debugging. You want to enable that. Uh, that's all you want to do on your phone. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have your uh, USB or micro USB cable that came with the phone. And you want to have that handy right next to you. You won't need to plug it in yet because you will need to install some drivers. So right here at the very top, it's going to tell you to install Android SDK. You click here. It'll take you to this website where you can download it. Um, I already downloaded mine for Mac, so you can run this on Mac. Um, I'm not going to show you how to install or set this up. I'm just showing you how to uh unlock the bootloader once you have this already set up. So I'll probably leave another video showing you how to get ADB set up on your on your uh, computer. If you already have ADB set up on your computer and you're good to go, all you have to do is install the drivers and proceed if you're on Windows. If you're on Mac, you're gonna need to uh, install the SDK and all that good stuff. So easy stuff, it's not very difficult to do. Um, there's actually a video on this, when you, go, when you go back, there's actually a video here that will show you how to install it once you're, you're 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 ready to go. You can just watch what click it, download one of the videos, and you'll see that uh 
it will get installed easily. It's pretty easy stuff. You need some commands. So I already have this installed on my computer, so I'm ready to go. If you don't, you may want to check out another video, which I'll probably leave in the description on how to set this up on Mac. Windows is a little bit different. It's pretty easier on Windows. So anyways, you put your device into fast boot mode. But before I proceed with all of this, normally what I want to do is I want to make sure that my ADB is all set up. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that now. So let's go ahead and minimize this window. I have my folder right here. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and let me make this larger. You want to go ahead and open terminal on MacBook. So in order to open up terminal, you hit command space, you get this option, you start T-E-R, terminal, hit enter, and there is terminal. So what you want to do here is, um, I have my folder already set up right here. Uh, this is my ADB folder. You can see I have an Android and then I have a Mac right here. You can see everything's in here, fast boot. Everything's ready to go, but you want to make sure that you do have it all set up before you keep going. So let me go ahead and close this out. And the command you want to type in is cd space desktop slash android slash mac. And then you can see that this is where you want to be at. You want to make sure everything says air mac, blah, blah, blah. Now what you want to do is you want to plug in your phone. Uh, if you have a passcode, I recommend you just disable the passcode. Let me go ahead and plug in the phone. And I will go ahead and unlock it. So unlock it. And then what you'll see this pop up. Uh, let me see if you can get this on camera. Uh, USB, allow USB debugging, and it's going to give you a bunch of numbers, which is RSA key code. And you're going to want to hit always allow from this computer and hit OK. So now you will, you, that means your, your drivers are pretty much installed real good. And you're almost good to go. Let's go ahead and see if the command will work. So the command, the first command you want to try out is you want to type in, uh, this is on Mac, so it's period slash. ADB space devices. I want to make sure you hit enter after that. And there you can see that it does show up the device and also the, the number. So that, that means you are set to go. So you have ADB ready to go. And now we're going to go ahead and enter fast boot or bootloader mode as they call it. So you can do this on your Mac also with command. So uh, period slash ADB. And then you want to type in bootloader, boot loader, and it should take you. Oh, maybe I wrong command. Uh, period slash adb space reboot bootloader. It's been a while since I've been doing these commands, but it should work. You see it right here. Boom, it did work, it did come up. So now you're no longer in ADB, you're actually in fast boot mode. So in order to uh, make sure you're connected to fast boot, you wanna type in the commands. Same thing, you just add the period slash fast boot. Devices, enter. And then you'll see that the number is back up. That's your, uh, com your there is a device connected, so that's a good thing. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go back to the website this is uh, what you want to do so you want to type in this command you want to type in uh, since I'm on Mac period slash fastboot OEM get unlock so I'm just going to do it the easy way I'm just going to copy it all the way up to the end copy go back to command you want to make sure you put period slash if you're on Mac and then you want to hit paste paste and then you hit enter. And this is the unlock data that you're gonna want. What you wanna do, you what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna wanna copy all of this stuff. Um, maybe it's about right there. Just copy it all. Copy. 
and then you're going to want to open up uh, text edit and then you're going to want to drop it all in text edit so let me open this up a little bit more for you guys hit paste boom so it's all here so what you want to create now is you want to create one stream all the way across so you want to delete all this right here and then you want to go here to the number five deletes all this right here and then you want to go back here to the front of the one delete all this right here nice and slow so you make sure you just go up to the top and then you want to do it right here again just do exactly what I'm doing here not too fast you don't want to delete any numbers you just want to make one perfect stream all the way across so this is what you want all the way across with no spaces you want all these numbers so now you want to copy all of this well not yet you want to save this uh, you want to keep this all together make sure you have it and let's minimize this so this is what you want you just wanted the code so now you got the data you got the unlock data so now what you want to do after you get the unlock data is you want to they're telling you to make a to make it into a string like I did so you want to delete all the bootloader stuff and all the spaces make a direct one line and so now what you want to do is you want to enter it here paste oh, let me copy and paste copy and then you want to paste it in here one stream paste boom it's all in there and then you want to check can my device be unlocked and it's going to say your device is unlockable so you can unlock the bootloader and the Moto E from Metro PCS in case we were wondering it is possible so now you, what you want to do is you want to get your unlock key you want to hit agree you want to check right here and you want to hit request unlock you should receive an email after you sent this and let me see if I have it request unlock code and you will get it boom so after you get that um, it's a small code. I have mine right here. Let me see if where I'm at. Yeah. See, I already got mine right here. This is unique to uh, your device, so it will not work on any other device. If you copy, try to copy and paste mine, it's not going to work. Um, so, yeah, this is it's device specific. So, you will get email. Here's your code. One, let's click here, your unlock code. And now you're going to have to enter these commands. So, now you want to copy this code. Copy. You see, so now you want to go back to food, to uh, fast boot once again, and you want to type in fast boot devices. Make sure it's connected again. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, period slash fast boot space devices, and you can see I have my numbers right here indicating that there is a device connected. That's the only device connected on my MacBook. So this is it right here. And the next thing you want to do is you want to enter fastboot OEM unlock and then you want to enter that key that you copy and paste so we're going to do it again period slash fastboot space OEM space unlock and then space and then you want to paste boom so there is a unique identification to unlock the bootloader and then you just hit enter so it says this command erases all your data so it's going to tell you you're definitely going to lose all your data so then you do it again it's going to tell you to do it twice to make sure that this is what you want to do so you go ahead type it again period period slash fast boot oem unlock space and then paste it back in again and then hit enter now it's going to unlock your bootloader and that's how quick it was you can see right here it says bootloader is unlocked rebooting phone okay so now uh, what you want to do now is where am i at right here go back to your phone and you want to you just want to hit start i'm sorry hit start and you're going to get this little indication right here. It says bad key. Let me see if you guys can see that real good. Bad key. Um, for some reason, 
on this Moto E4. I'm not getting the the there's a pop up that normally says uh, your your bootloader has been unlocked. Um, let me see if I can see the pop up. But there's a pop up that comes up that says bootloader is unlocked. I'm not getting that on the Moto E4. I'm getting that at the top corner where it says bad key. Doesn't mean anything. It just means that your bootloader is basically unlocked, and that's the kind of notification that you get. You don't really get this warning right here. I'll show you the warning. So this is the warning that you would normally get right here, which says warning, bootloader unlock your device bootloader has been unlocked, allow, allowing crucial software components to be blah, blah, blah. So this is what the pop-up that you normally get with um, when you unlock the bootloader, but I'm not getting that on, on my Moto E for some reason. Uh, maybe it's because it's the Metro PCS version, I don't know. But now your bootloader's unlocked, um, I'll go through the settings real quick with you guys so you guys can check it out. Let me hold this camera back a little bit. Um, fresh start. The reason why I did fresh start and I'm going to skip all this is because I'm going to go ahead now and root. So if you guys are interested in root on the Moto E4, you're going to want to go ahead and watch my next video. It's going to be nice. You'll be able to root this, install custom recovery. And basically, you're going to be ready for flashing ROM. So you can see here, uh, like I said, ready to uh, be flashed away. I mean, not ADV, we'll go back to settings, I'm sorry. And swipe all the way down to the bottom. Uh, about phone. And you can go to right here, build number, and tap it again. And now it says, you are a developer, go back. Developer options, they're turned on, and you can see that OEM unlocking is kind of grayed out. Simply grayed out because it says bootloader is already unlocked. So that's how you definitely find out if your bootloader is unlocked. Not sure if you guys can see that on camera, but you can see it's grayed out. OEM unlocking, that means your bootloader is unlocked. It says bootloader is already unlocked. There's an easy process to restore this. You want to enable that. USB debugging. You will get this pop up again and allow computer because I'm going to be, like I said, uh, flashing a custom recovery and rooting. So there you guys have it. This is a pretty lengthy video. Hope I didn't bore you guys to death. But bootloader unlocked on the Moto E from Metro PCS. Stay tuned for another video. Uh, like I said, installing custom recovery and rooting. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.